What is up everyone, Andrew here back with another video for you. So last month Apple announced some new software updates that are coming to their devices this fall and I think one of the most significant updates is going to be iPadOS 13. Uh, and while it may not look drastically different from iOS 12, which is what you probably have on your iPad and your iPhone right now, I think there's a lot of under the hood improvements that are going to make things a lot easier for the everyday person. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing that's going to be happening is the new name. Uh, every iPad since the original one that came out in 2010 has been running what's called iOS, which is that basic software for everything that iPhones and iPads have done in the past. Uh, and while that's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that all the apps and features that were designed for a smaller screen like the iPhone may not seem like the best idea for a bigger screen like the iPad. So what this means is that the door is just being opened for all these people who make all the apps and features to be able to make even cooler stuff for people, specifically for the iPad, which is awesome. One cool feature about iPadOS is that you can actually have more apps on the home screen at one time. Uh, and you can even slide over that little widgets page that allows you to see the, like the weather, news updates, some suggested apps, battery status of things that are connected to your iPad, all that kind of stuff in one place, which is really neat. Another pretty sweet feature is that you can turn on a system-wide dark mode, which is personally my preference. I like it a lot. I just like the way that it looks. Um, but there's light or dark, and depending on which one you choose, all the apps will be light or all the apps will be dark. It's really neat. And for those of you with a whole lot of photos, files, documents, downloads, a whole lot of stuff on your iPad, uh, you'll be happy to know that you can actually plug in a legit flash drive uh, into it, and then you'll be able to transfer all your files to and from it. Uh, with the renewed files app and I think it's gonna be really cool because you couldn't really do a whole lot of that before just transfer like Photos and other little bits and pieces before uh, but now you can legit transfer like all these files And I think it's really cool for people who do that So that's all well and good But what if you don't have a whole lot of files that you need to transfer to and from your iPad to other stuff? What if you just like to keep it all in one place? Well, I think you'd be happy to know uh, that all the file sizes and app sizes are going to be made a little bit smaller so you won't be running out of storage quite as often, uh, it'll be kind of nice to have a little bit of extra space on there. Something else cool is that you'll be able to multitask with even more windows at one time. Uh, so say you're working on two separate notes at the same time, you can do that side by side. Uh, and if you wanted to pull in a little browser from Safari or Chrome, you could do that too, just on the side. Uh, and you can have three things running at the same time, which I think is really helpful for a lot of people. One thing that I feel like is going to be super useful for a lot of people is this thing called Sidecar. Uh, and that actually lets you use your iPad as a second display for your MacBook, which is insanely cool. Who thought of that? Uh, but like, it's going to be useful for students if you're working on a paper and you need to look at a textbook at the same time. Uh, you could have your textbook on your iPad and then you could have an essay or a note on your MacBook so things aren't as cramped on one screen. Uh, and you can knock two things off your list at the same time and it's awesome. It's so cool. One downside to iPadOS is that the list of compatible devices is actually a little bit shorter this year. Uh, so if you're rocking an older device like the original iPad Air or the iPad Mini 3, uh, you're going to get the cutoff and not going to be able to update to iOS 13. But if you have maybe an iPad Air 2, uh, any of the iPad Pros, an iPad 5th or 6th generation, which is the one that uh, works with the Apple Pencil and that's the like, budget friendly device, you're going to be good to go. Uh, and all those features are going to be available to you starting in September when this release comes out. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you're really excited for it, just let me know down in the comments. Also, if there's anything that I did uh, that you noticed that I can do better, uh, or if you have a question about something, just let me know and I'd be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you all have a good day. 